everybody, it's Becca J. I am excited about today's item. NYX Professional Makeup, Beauty School Dropouts, Freshman. Yay, and this thing, I mean, unless they put a rock in the package, this thing is hefty. It's heavy duty, it feels just worth it. I don't know. Um, it says that there is 37 eyeshadows, three of them are pressed pigments, and four face powders. So yeah, we're going to try it. It had a, a safety steel, I just went ahead and sliced it because we're going to take a look. Okay, it's obviously got some sort of packaging extra. Um, I actually did not look at this before I bought it, so hopefully I didn't get one that somebody already put their little phalanges into. Okay. So there you go, in like a little notebook almost. It's got that stretchy thing and you can take it off. Okay. Ooh. It's got the nice mirror. It's pretty much the length of it. And then you open this up. Oh, it's double. Cool. They have protective covers, but here's all the shadows. Okay. It says this one, this one, and this one. Okay, so this one, this one, and then this one. It says are the three pressed colors. But look at all this. Look, greens. Look at those. Look at them. Okay, and this one has a protective thing too, somewhere. Okay, so we have mattes and shimmers here that we could use for maybe a highlight and your base colors and then what they call the face powders. So like a blush, I don't know, I don't know. We're going to play with it. This video might be a little longer because of all the swatches we're going to do. Okay, so, so these are the big pans. Those are pretty. This would be a pretty color. I think this would be like more, more for my cheek. Beautiful. I love this one. Yes, I can see maybe highlight or inner corner of eye. Yes. Okay, now let's swatch this very large amount of, oh, that's so pretty, <laughs> of uh, eyeshadows. And I don't have a whole lot of room. I mean, I'm a big girl, but I'm running out of room. So I'm going to have to wipe off everything that we did. There's a lot of shadows. And I need all the body space I can get. Ooh! 
I'm going to play with that one. That is a beautiful, beautiful first row. Ooh, yes, I'm just loving this one. This one's not showing up very well. Another beautiful row. We have some lighter colors on this one. This one, you can barely even see it. And then this one is a very pale lilac lavender. Another beautiful row. These are very similar. This one's just very pale. You can't see it, but these two are very similar, even in the pan. Okay, there you have it. There's all the beautiful colors. Um, still, I'm loving this one, uh, this one. I don't know, you guys, this beautiful green. All of them are just beautiful. Nice, good, clean swatches. A couple of them, I mean, like this one here. You know, you can really see it's powdery. This one did the same. But for the most part, nice, good, clean swatches. My palette's not a mess. Okay, so let's see what we can do with this. I think I'm going to go a little crazy, way outside the box, and I might make a mess. I don't know. But I'm going to have some fun. So, yeah. Okay. <sighs> Use this as my eyeshadow base. Really just nice, very pale color.
there you have the eyes. Um, I'm sure I broke every rule in the makeup eyeshadow world, but I was going for like a desert sunset look. So, you know, I don't know. I'll show you a picture. Hopefully about right here. But uh, you have all these brilliant shades in the sunset. And I just wanted something bright, vibrant, and happy. Yet desert sunsetty because I live in the Southwest Welter. Let's see. I want to try this one here as a blush. Oh, I had some fallout. I feel like that was too much and I'm a clown and that's why I don't I don't do a blush. Do you want let's see. <laughs> In the real world, I would have wiped that off. I'm just going to town with some of these colors today. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm being a clown, I guess. This should have been more of a serious video, but it's not. It's not going to be. Because apparently, I don't know what I'm doing. And I look like an idiot. I do actually like my eyeshadow. It's crazy. It's a little different. Not liking the blush. It's just too much. Probably in the wrong place. I, I'm not a pro at blush. I'm not a pro at anything makeup related. But even with the glasses, I can still see I have something going on. I actually really like my Desert Sunset. You don't have to like it. You don't have to wear it. And I don't know if I could repeat it, so all's fair. Okay, so that was all the swatches. I did a little look. I like it. Um, here's my pan. The most that gave me a problem was this. And that's not big deal compared to everything else. There's not a lot of... issues you know me my palette's not too dirty all in all this was a pretty decent palette for the price I'm actually really surprised I thought I'd be returning it because well let's face it for 20 bucks you never know it could suck but I mean look they're bright uh, pigmented there's a lot of variety. I don't know. Um, I'm rubbing it. There seems to be a good, decent color fastness. I mean, and that's getting a good rub here. <laughs> you know, so by the end of a 12-hour day, you still have probably something decently on there. Okay, let's see. That's even with a wipey. There's still some really prominent colors. But yeah, it's it doesn't seem like it's going to want to come off too easily. I mean, I was rubbing it. You got to be going like that. You'd have to have some terrible, terrible allergies, I think, for this to really not work out. Uh, I love it. I'm going to say that. I really didn't think I would for 20 bucks. I was like, okay, I'm going to try this. If I hate it, it's just going to go back. No big deal. I can exchange it for something else I want. If I love it, that's perfect. I got a deal for 20 bucks. And I got a deal for 20 bucks. You guys should too. I think they have another one that's The Graduate or something. And it's got more. I'm going to have to try that. 
Um, this was my first experience with NYX eyeshadows. I had tried some lipsticks before and I wasn't impressed. This, uh, I'm loving it, you guys. Okay, well, that's it for me. This was thoroughly enjoyable. I was a little afraid because I was like, I don't know what I'm doing and I'm just putting it all on. And it turned out pretty close to what I was wanting. You know, I was hoping there was more of a vibrant yellow that I could put up there for for that sun. But um, it's a pretty good desert sunset, I believe. If you've ever seen a desert sunset, you know, I'm just missing like a hot pink. But I didn't want to mess with it. Okay, well, so if you have it, you want it, you love it, you hate it, let me know. I'll leave the link down below. Well, try to, because like I said, I got this one at stage. If I can't find the stage link, then we'll try Ulta, but I'd like stage to have a fair shot, because that's actually not too bad. Or you can get NYX, you can go to NYX, wherever you get yours, but I'll leave my link where I got it down below, um, and leave me a comment, let me know what's going on with you and if you've tried this and what your thoughts were because I don't know I didn't even really look up any reviews I'm hoping everybody's palettes are like that and I'm just not one of those lucky random people with a good palette alrighty bye good job mom don't forget click click like subscribe